Warnings from Congress and consumer groups. The agency that's supposed to protect your food supply may soon clear the way for meat and milk from cloned animals to make it to your table. Some say without testing it enough. The steak you order at a restaurant held together by glue. 7 News reporter Amanda Cost investigating how it's done and exposing the potential health risk. Amanda? Well, can you tell the difference between these two center-cut fillets? One is legit and the other was pieced together using meat glue. We have made it alpha to the gammas and have produced uh, uh, a new generation of cattle in this project that are not clones themselves, uh, but both of their parents are cloned. Bought in Brooklyn. Food modification. This is where we are today. Not some cabbage, just bought yesterday. I'm going to hot it and put it directly over the flame. Seriously, this is great. You see, you see it is burning. You see, it is burning. The world's first lab-grown burger has been cooked and eaten at a news conference in London. Scientists took cells from a cow and turned them into strips of muscle, which were then combined and made into a patty. The current meat production is at its maximum. It takes a small sample of cells from a cow, a pig or a chicken, adds nutrients and then cultivates the cells into meat. We could actually grow a fillet in two weeks or three weeks instead of growing a whole animal that might take six months or a year. Yeah. Kind of my own. Kind of Both of them are eggs, right? Or oh, are they really eggs? Now, watch what will happen. This one, this one is a real egg. This one is a real egg. Just watch. Shocking research examining nearly 10,000 Americans reveals exactly how much of our diet is made up of so-called fake food. Nearly 60% of our daily calories come from ultra-processed foods. My number two cancer cause is the American diet. Most of America is eating very few nutrients. Our food is loaded with chemicals, sugar, unhealthy fats, high fructose corn syrup. <laughs> A Senate source tells CNN the Food and Drug Administration is just days away from declaring meat and milk from cloned animals safe. The FDA wouldn't comment on that on or off camera with us, but did say it is finalizing its own risk assessment. It's a way to cut costs, but we're asking, at what risk? It's white, powdery, and holding one of these two steaks together. Transglutaminase, also known as Activa or meat glue. It always is amazed to me that you can take a cell and that everything in every one of those cells in the body has everything to reprogram and become an organism again. And you just, you look at him and he was a piece of meat. Over the flame. Nothing. Next side. Over the flame. Nothing. Fake. When I'm telling people that this is this is fake, they don't it's believe so, me. So fake. Oh we'll be drinking pepper soup. You guys have to. 
Well, with queen meat, you don't need to worry so much about that because you're not growing intestines at all. You instead are growing just the muscle that we actually want. Right now, we have the capacity to take a sesame seed sized biopsy from an animal. Well, I think most people just don't realize that, that the current meat production is at its maximum and it's not going to supply sufficient meat for the growing demand in the coming uh, 40 years. So we need to come up with an alternative, there's no question. You're eating cloned fruit, right? And just looking at it, you can just kind of tell, you know, the conjoined strawberries, of course, this is nothing new to most of you. Many of you seen this before. And they've been cloning for a while, guys. Or it's cafeterias and expects to ship shrimp to supermarkets as early as this year. Memphis Meats hopes to bring its meat to market in about five. You notice that the yolk stays in one place. You notice the color of the yolk too. Now, this is the second egg that we are suspecting to be fake. And of that, 20% is sugar. The study also shows Americans get less than 1% of their calories from vegetables. Ultra-processed foods contain about five times more added sugar than non-processed regular foods. This is the stuff we're choosing on a daily basis to put in our bodies. It's no wonder we're so freaking sick. One thing you can do to help combat this cancer epidemic is to eliminate all the processed foods in your diet. Again. My fingers get in blue, but the cabbage in blue. Nothing. Cabbage still green. I can't it's believe really, it. Really, really burning. Can you say it? And it's more than you say it. And I can't believe it. What? What we are eating? You see it? Oh no way. Oh, you this see is, it? Oh my god. You see what we are eating? Now look at what is happening. You can find that without even touching it, it's spreading into the white. It's becoming warm with the white. <laughs> 